PvP between Prince of K-Town and Storm spawning in the bottom right hand corner we have our purple Terran Prince of K-Town in the top right hand corner we have our green Protoss Storm we forgot to change the health to <laughs> oh Prince you are so egotistical I have to tell him Ah, uh, so we have the game going underway. Nothing fancy going on yet. We have the standard supply table at the ramp. We have our first pylon going to be set down here. Make sure that any, uh, you can definitely scout the, uh, the SV zone. That is not actually at a good spot. You can, uh, the SCV can actually slip in undetected. You want to place your pylon a little farther down if you're worried about any sort of early intrusion. Um, I don't know what to say during these early parts of the matches. Uh, I absolutely love this map. We do. There are two Zelnaga towers on the map that are uh, evenly placed, though they do not actually reach all the way out here. Though this is why there's the uh, dark spot here. You can place some units here to do that view for you. We have the first probe going out for a scout. Before Prince of Tandan gets his scout out, we have the gateway at the entrance and an early gas. More uh, probes being chrono boosted out. We have the barracks at the ramp. He's not going for any fancy cheese here. The gas is also going down for Prince of K-Town. We may see Reapers or Marauders. Uh, I said Reapers last time, though that never actually ended up happening. It was a Marauder-heavy composition. I'd like to see, to see Storm do a proxy Stargate and maybe get some Oracles going on to do some harass here. That was the biggest issue that he really needed to step up and harass. He did try to push up the front door and almost actually made it with those amazing shields that he kept splitting the army just piece by piece. Another barracks going down. He is going to spot the double barracks again. He knows he's going to be aggressive. He's going to move it back. He knows that there's no early aggression. His scout is about to get over here. Is it going up the ramp? Yes, it is. Cybernetics Core is going down for Storm, so we're going to see some more stock apply. I don't know if we'll see a Zealot first. We'll see if he starts uh, queuing that up at any point. Only one gas at the moment. He has lots of uh, energy saved up. He made Corona Boost out of Stalker. Probe is on its way back. Two barracks are up. We have a reactor going on the first one and an orbital command on the way. Another assimilator coming from Storm, so going double gas very early in the game. Corona Boost getting more of those worker out. He want, he's going a little more macro this game. He is getting the Zealot first that he wants to deal with the SCV. Prince of K-Town is amazing at just annoying his opponent. He's wobbling around. A tech lab going down. So we have the same opening from Prince of K-Town this match with the reactor and a tech lab. Another expansion. He is kind of bumming out on his SCV production. He's going heavy aggression. Warp Gate has been started to be researched and it is being Corona boosted out. We also have a stalker coming out. So we're going to see more early aggression. I don't know what Prince of K-Town is actually planning here. We do have his SCV coming back down the map. Probe is uh, canceling his pursuit of that concussive shells again going the exact same path that he went down originally. Everybody's talking. I'm not even paying attention to the chat. Nonetheless, it's a best of three, but it was a master. Yeah, it was a... Uh, I think he's just doing to practice commentating. Uh, yes, it is to practice commentating, but it's to the same point. It's going to be actually more than just practicing. I do plan on having this to be a uh, every two-week tournament I want to start doing. And then once or twice a year have a much bigger tournament. Uh, after I get some of the kinks figured out. Oh, Prince, you're, you're, he warns that people are coming. He is just so egotistical. Um, Anywho, this will be more than just uh, practicing. This will actually become a thing that I will do repeatedly. Eventually, there will be prizes. Actual cash prizes. I know people absolutely love cash for winning StarCraft. SCV was not able to get up there at all. This is, I don't know what Prince is going. He's being extremely ballsy with his units right now. The Stalker is going to go down. Nothing else is on the way. There is one Immortal, though. The Sentry, no, the Marauder is not. Oh, the Bunker starts going down. Sentry, no, what are you doing? Kill it, kill it. There's like nothing left. Oh, he knows his backup coming. Storm is already looking to be in trouble. There's a Immortal on the way. Pylon is going down. No. Nothing's going to come out. Is that powered? I don't know if that's far enough. No. The gateway, the mortal comes out. Two zealots being warped in. 
Oh, this is gonna be close. Zealot's going in, doing their slashing. The Immortal is, it's, the Immortal is down. Bunker has not been yet canceled. I don't know if he's sending over another, he is. He's sending two more SCVs over to do that. Another uh, Immortal is on its way. Two Zealots being slowed down. This concussion shell is being absolutely important during this early aggression. I don't think Storm can uh, recover from this. The armor supply is 18 to six. Worker supply is in his favor, but these units are doing a ton of damage. He's going to actually try to, he wants to stop this. It is, he needs to chrono it out. He has enough energy to chrono. Another bunker going down. Both bunkers are being built. The stalkers are out now. More reinforcements coming up. All of this. Oh boy. Just amazing aggression from Prince of K-Town. GG from Storm. 2-0. Prince of K-Town takes the first match. And we'll be bumped up to our semifinals.